do talk about, about Andrew, we are talking about one of the largest, most successful, fastest growing defense tech companies uh, out there in the private markets right now. One of the key parts to Andrel is the fact that you are building hardware around software. You're sort of on the forefront in terms of AI, in terms of national security. How does that speak to the role, the increasing role that software and some of these new capabilities are going to play uh, in national security? When we see what's happening in Ukraine and a lot of other conflicts in the world, the reality is smaller, smarter systems become key, right? Like the quantity of systems that you have become really, really key. And uh, this is a trend that we've been predicting for the last about seven years that we've been going. We're starting to see much more movement in Department of Defense around procuring these technologies and moving them out at scale. And software really forms the core of how do I start to even operate thousands of drones at once? It really becomes a software problem. Uh, so really enabling these technologies at scale does require the software, and that is a key part of what we focused on from the beginning. So the Pentagon is beginning to move faster. We certainly see it in, in the VC world, investing world. I think something like $100 billion has been invested into defense tech startups uh, over the last couple of years. How quickly can some of these new capabilities actually make it into the hands of warfighters who need them on the front lines? If you had asked me five years ago, I would have said this was going to be a much slower process. You know, historically, this has looked at five-year-long cycles to get any of these systems fielded. But a lot of the movement we've been seeing from the Pentagon on things like the replicator initiatives uh, and a lot of other new activities that they're doing are looking to get these technologies out in a matter of, you know, under a year, two years max in terms of how can we field these in the hundreds, if not thousands, of systems very, very quickly. And of course, replicator is all about drones and other types of autonomous systems. The DOD looking to field thousands of them over these next two years. Are you working with DOD on that program? Yeah, we have a number of technologies that fit squarely in the, you know, sort of bucket of the technologies they're looking for. Small, cheap, autonomous systems that are going to have a meaningful impact on any sort of future conflict with China or the types of things that you would see in Ukraine and those, you know, those capabilities that you need. Uh, so right now, Replicator hasn't officially announced what they are releasing yet, uh, but, you know, safe to say those are like the types of technologies that they're, they're looking for going forward. Yeah, you're also just announced earlier this month that you're going to be working with the Air Force on the collaborative combat aircraft, which is the autonomous, the uncrewed uh, aircraft program that's going to accompany the sixth generation fighter jets that the service is developing as well. I mean, according to reports, it's, it's uh, Boeing, it's General Atomics, it's Lockheed Martin, it's Northrop Grumman and now it's Andrel Industries. Uh, walk me through that process and what competing on that program looks like. Yeah, so if, if you compare this to where the department was, again, five years ago, it would have been absurd to have a company that was a new entrant that was primarily focused on software competing on what will eventually be a multi-billion dollar program. Uh, but I think there's been a realization that new entrants can actually scale, that we can accomplish these problems, and that we take a very different approach in terms of how to make these things cheap how to produce them in a different way, and how to bring that sort of software-first mentality to these problems. So we've been working with you know, the Air Force for years on exploring how to think about these systems, how to actually bring an innovative approach uh, to acquiring these, and they have done an amazing job of creating an opportunity to change the industrial base, which is something that I think many of us thought would take much longer than it has.